Hi chums, it's um, 8 o'clock in the morning. Just see, I can't even see myself here, yeah. It's 8 o'clock in the morning and as you can see, I'll just swing the light around here. It's just starting to get to daybreak and you can just about hear the birds. There's the moon up there. I'll just check I'm getting the moon here. There's it there. You can see the moon just in the middle of the picture there. So it's very dark and I'm keeping quiet because I don't want to waken the neighbours up and stuff, you know. But I'll show you what I'm at here. I can talk better when I get in here. I'll just turn this radio off now that we're in here because I don't want to um, end up breaching some sort of law and getting kicked off YouTube for, for life. So, um, welcome to 2013. Um, something a bit special about this year. The last time this particular little thing happened was in 1987 and that was 26 years ago and this is the first year it has happened since so there's a connection between 1987 and 2013 so uh, I'll tell you what it is in a minute or two when I finish but I'm going to show you what I'm at here because I'm going to make a, a what, do you, what do you call those things See, I'm not prepared for this because I can't do much work, it's too noisy. I tried to work there, but the neighbours will be knocking the doors, you know. Um, I'm trying to make a cyclone system to go with a dust collector. So we'll just turn around and show you that. This is what Santa Claus brought me. And as you can see, it's, it's on its side there, but it's a fox dust collector. And that's, I think that's part of the Delta Group from France. Because when I opened up the instructions, it says on the outside of it, there's a derlock actually. It's on the outside here. Look. Made for Delta France. It's Fox. And it's basically the same as a lot of the Harbour Freight 2 horsepower. Um, 2 horsepower, um, 230 volt, 240 volt. And it's the same as Harbour Freight and Axminster. They're all basically the same machine with different names on them. So I bought that on the strength of being able to get it here and not having to pay extra to get it imported and uh, the supplier absorbed that in his costs and I got a good deal. And then I got some hose clips with it. I bought some very, very good um, extraction hose. That's really heavy stuff. But I thought, well, I'm only doing it once, so I might as well do it right. Now to get some more fittings, what I was going to do was I was going to use soil pipe or drain pipe, which is this stuff here. But the thing is, that's 112 mil, or 110 mil, 112 OD, and nothing fits together. But you can get a reducer that steps that down to 110, so you can use that stuff there with it. But when I check the price of the, the, the different coupling things, it's actually cheaper to go and buy the 100 millimeter stuff than to try and adapt stuff that you have, because the, the parts are half the price of the, the land drain stuff and that. So I thought it was expensive until I actually started pricing it. It's not too bad. So where are we? Right. We're over here. This is going to be the drop bucket for the waste. And then this cone is a traffic cone. And it was got legally. I didn't go out in the middle of the night and scoop that off a set of roadworks. A friend of mine does tarmacking on roads. And he has got his own cones, which that's one off. And um, if you look at the... Official government cones are a different color those to those like a more like an orangey color that's red So he gave me that one because you can see the fluorescent stuff is getting worn on it And after a certain amount of time he just gets rid of them because it's he said it's not worth the, Putting them out and somebody having an accident and suing you for the price of another cone And um, or keep them keep those claims at bay So he gave me that one which is quite high you can see it's about a meter high about three feet high So I'll cut that probably just about where the white line is there but I'll leave the base on it because when I turn it upside down here on this thing it's going to need to be stabilized so I'll leave the base on and I can run bolts all thread down through it. Now this here is a nitric acid barrel um, I got this off a farmer they use nitric acid after they milk the cows and stuff for cleaning stuff up but this lid is really, really 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 thick so I started to cut it with a diamond cutter but the noise was really bad. It probably felt worse because it was seven o'clock in the morning. You see, I was up this morning at half past four because I was taking my son to the airport. 
so uh, that's why I was out here and I decided just to stay up and I started cutting this and I, I cut, you can see where I cut just, I'll show you, I cut from, from here from here down to here and I had to stop because it was too noisy it's actually very thick there so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this section here out because it's going to come out anyway because that's, that's welded on that lid so I have to make, it, make a lid for it and then fit this cone into it that'll be my my cyclone so um, I'll do that I can turn the lid myself I was going to get a router but I've got a lathe sitting over there so what I'll do is I'll just turn the head, turn turn the headstock out towards me, and I'll be able to put a bigger piece on and turn turn the a, a recess to fit over this. I'm going to put some bracing inside. So I'll put I'll put a cross inside it, so it, when the vacuum comes on, it doesn't suck it in. But um, I don't think it will happen. It's very very it's very very tough stuff. It's very heavy, so it looks like well, I suppose it's holding acid. It has to be. So that's it. So what about have you worked like this? 2013 and 1987 yet um, the same thing will happen for the next six years and then it won't happen again from 2020 will be the last time it happens until it will actually it won't 2019 will be the last time it happens and the next time it will happen is 2031 so um, it's got to do with numbers so what's the Back to the originals again, I suppose, 2013 and 1987. So, that's that. Now, as I say, I'm doing this. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is... What are we after? Six minutes. I'm going to put the... I wonder am I too far for? I think this thing's out of... No, it's not. I thought I had pushed the, the, the forward thing there. I'm going to turn the lathe out this way. And just swing it 90 degrees, basically. And put the dust, the dust collector in there, and then the drop box will go in front of the dust collector. That'll get most of the stuff before it goes into the dust collector. And then <clears throat> there's a 30 micron. It's not, a, it's not a real fine dust collector, but what I'll do is I'll let the stuff build up on the inside of the bag, and that will actually slow down the rate of air going through the bag because it'll be a caking effect on the inside, and that will act as a filter and take more stuff out. So that's why I'm trying to keep all the dirt out of the filter, just let some fine dust through. And then I have to change all this layout here because I'm moving the lathe. And I was talking to my mate Michael about it yesterday. He likes doing this sort of thing. And his, uh, his best advice was, which I think was the only advice, move the most important thing first, which is the lathe, and then fit everything else to match that. So that's what I'll be doing. But, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to get this thing here built in the next couple of days. Um, there's a fair bit of work in it, and there's a lot of a lot of fabrication and shaping because I have to put down there. I have to put an inlet there into the side of that using 100 mil pipe. So I have to shape the pipe to fit that, and then cut the hole out and stuff. So there'll be lots lots of wee things to do, and then I'll get this built, and then I'll get this here. Get 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 the extractor built up. I don't want to build the extractor now. Because if I do, I'll use it, and that will defeat the whole purpose of trying to keep it clean and good until I get the drop box made. So we'll get that done. I'll also have a lot more room when I get this cement mixer out and the trailer out, and I'm going to move this to another shed. The the, the more that'll give me more room. So what have we got there? There's eight minutes. That's killed sometimes a quarter past eight now. So if anybody's in their bed now, they deserve to be woken up because that's just ridiculous. Staying in bed till a quarter past eight. So I'm going to start baiting and hammering here now and we'll see what happens. So there's another wee job I did just while I'm at it. Um, this cupboard here, is, it's a steel cupboard, but it's got a wooden lining in it. It was a gun cupboard. It wasn't mine. It, was, it belonged to the police, actually, in the forensic department. And this was one of their gun cupboards for storing um, ammo and rum, rifles and stuff. So it's lined with wood on the inside. For supports for the rifles and things. Now I had a cousin worked in forensics and they were throwing this stuff out so I said I'll take it because it's really good stuff at least holds a load of stuff and keeps things it keeps tools out of the way so people don't know what you've got really you know but what it did was I got this stuff here cement particle board because this this metal here was getting very warm from the stove and I was scared of it sort of combusting inside just from the heat of the wood 
So this is cement particle board. It's supposed to, it, it, it's very good, not supposed to, it's very good at resisting fire, but not heat. But what I did was, you see there, I put five washers on the back of each bolt, and then I put another five washers here and here as well. So I've got, I got ten, five mil and five mil, actually it's about seven and seven mil of a space, and air conducts heat very badly. So it means that it doesn't get the heat doesn't get through to that there. And I've been testing it, and you can put your hand on the back of this sheet, and this one here is cool, and this one's quite warm. So um, it's working dead on. So I'm happy with that. I was scared of the thing going on fire because of the heat. Look at the state of the place. See, this is what happened when it's doing the bathroom and the kitchen. Everything out here got destroyed, and then there's cardboard here. The cardboard is for my bench. That's a wee tip for you, folks. If you've got a workbench, um. If you put cardboard in your workbench, you can draw on it, and you can make plans and all. And then, what do you got? If you lose wee screws and stuff, they don't fall down the holes in your bench where the bench shrinks over time. So the cardboard keeps everything in one place, and you just pull it off and put new fresh stuff on. So I tend to keep cardboard. I, I tend to keep everything, you know. So there you are. That's it. So the the um, the the barrel is going to be the drop box. The traffic cone is going to be the the, the, the the cyclone effect and then I have to get my fittings and put my hoses and all on and then we'll get this boy here built up so that's it so what is so different what's so important or what's so different about 2013 and 1987 1987 was the last time that we had um 1987 was the last time that we had four different digits in the year one nine eight seven then it became one nine eight eight one nine eight nine so we had two nines two eights then you're into the 1990s and you end up with three nines in 1999 then you had the 2000s which is three zeros then you had two zeros the whole way up to ten then you had two ones last year you had two twos 2012 last year so 2013 is the first time for 26 years that we have had four different digits in the year. Okay? I lead a very sad life, don't I? But this is the problem with being obsessed by numbers and stuff, you know? So there you go, folks. That's your quiz for today, and I'm sure you all pass with flying colours. So, all the best now. Bye bye. I'll do more on this cyclone as I go. I was saying to Mike about um, Mike Walt. I'm sure I've got that wrong. W A L D T, Walt. I'm going to try um, in Wales. He, I was telling him I'm going to, I was going to do a video diary and then put it all together, but I've decided just to do it in sections as I go along. And if I make video and save it, I'll do one later on, you know, but I'll just do wee short diaries as I go along with the whole thing. All right, so all the best now. Bye-bye.